Hello and welcome to the weekly VD Digest Quest. First a look at the highlights. Day long vigilance awareness workshop held. Week long workshop on food processing concludes. Law Society organizes essay competition and some important notifications of the university. Now the details with your host Umar Malik. The University of Kashmir organized a vigilance awareness workshop for its administrative staff. Speaking on the occasion, Justice retired Bashir Ahmed Kirmani, member State Accountability Commission, opined that it's unfortunate part of our society that we have wasted all our decision-making powers in the hands of political class. To bad kismet is hai ji ki ashushu political classes so aur ekhtiyar dunno sahi te galat define karno. Jisun kun jaye Obama was our president. Aaj the jagmat imas nau nokri. So when our jury member ek is court as mas. You shouldn't get a bus president because they have jury member, you should judge by my name's mother. Yes, that should not bad show you on the sour game. That's your public servant. Timothy Shipane, we got Timchin individually karaki, Timchu Bajit and Mulukara. There's a shoe good catching this and a mere Zahanas Musu. Susu Yiki, as is true, Mamluk, root, Mul and Muktalash Karun, Susupanus, Wujudas Ma. और तुथ नजरिया जिंदगी में अपना प्रत के स्पलन पेट आत्मा सुनी के नजर मुसलमान बट जरूरी ना दुनिया को कहीं इज्म कहीं मजहब कहीं सिस्टम चुन यूस रिश्वत खरी जायज था का सिस्टम जो अपना इनफरेडी देते इجتماعی तौर से इम साथ इجتماعی तौर अपना वो तुम मजनेर नॉर्म्स इम साथ सोशल इंटरकोर्स के साथ रिएक्शन के साथ इंटरेक्शन के साथ सब्जी बर्ज के साथ नए दस है नए दस के साथ डॉक्टर से डॉक्टर्स के साथ जो विकल्प से यूज़ नहीं हमने पाने वाली इंटरेक्शन चहे आत्मा से नॉर्मल मज़ के साथ कदर के साथ ये में कदर ये में साथ तो खुद ज़िंदगी है जिस मर्कज़ी ख़याल से हम आहंग करते हैं पक्षी विज़न से बस बढ़ करेंगे पर � Registrar Professor Khurshid Ahmed Bhatt said that if only humans follow the moral code of conduct, there is no need of laws and regulations. We know that, as Vikirmani is saying, there are so many laws, so many institutions that we have made. But when they are made, when they are in their minds, they will go to the institutions, where will they go? I will say one thing. We are being alarmed. We are being informed. कि सही क्या है गलत क्या है अगर हम उसी पे अमल करेंगे सिर्फ उस पे अमल करेंगे परहपस वी डोंट नीड ऑल दिस लॉज एंड रेगुलेशंस डीन लॉ प्रोफेसर मोहम्मद हुसैन व्हाइल रेजिंग अ फ्यू क्वेश्चंस ऑन द फ्रेमिंग ऑफ लॉ सेड दैट वन हैज टू टेक इनटू अकाउंट द कल्चर एंड सोशल माइल्यू दैट वन लिव्स इन how to frame laws and what should be the basis of the laws ऑफ कोर्स मॉरल्स रिमेन एज द बेसिस ऑफ लॉज द कल्चर रिमेंस द बेसिस ऑफ द लॉज बट सो फॉर द uh, the, the prevention of corruption laws are concerned. I mean, where from to start? What should be our starting point? The third is, of course, which I feel very important, that is the reducing the role of state and encouraging privatization. This is again very important. Question is that you find that in government setups, I mean, it is very prevalent and very frequent. Reason being that uh, accountability is very less, transparency is very less. Well, as as compared to the governmental agencies, if we look at the private institutions, the parameters of uh, accountability and uh, the transparency are very high. Occurrence is always very less. Therefore, should we shift to more privatization? We want to basically eradicate it. And if you look at the definitions of the uh, prevention and uh, control of corruption, I am surprised to see that the first def definition which occurs in the Prevention and Control of the Corruption Act is the definition of election. Senior Superintendent of Police Vigilance, Mr. Zubair Ahmed Khan, said that all organizations should have Preventive Vigilance Act. How to prevent, basically, or how to have a Preventive Vigilance within the organization. Preventive Vigilance is basically an important ingredient for successful anti-corruption drive. So, in all the organizations, we must have a Preventive Vigilance at basic stage. It consists of constant supervision by the supervisors or 
the middle middle rung and the senior level officers of the department and wherever there is a fault found in any of the works then conduct of enquiries and other departmental procedures then we'll go to simple ways to induce transparency in functioning of an organization the first and foremost thing is the delays in decision making and payments because this is the basic this is the pivotal point where from the corruption starts delays in decision making file आई है हमारे पास फाइल इसके बाद दो दिन चार दिन छह दिन और पेमेंट्स जिसका जाना है चाहे ड्यू है या अन ड्यू वट्स एवर इट इज फेवरेटिज्म यही स्टार्ट होता है डिले डिले इन डिसीजन मेकिंग एंड द पेमेंट्स चीफ प्रॉक्टर डॉक्टर नसीर इकबाल से दैट दे आर कीपिंग एन आई ऑन द एक्टिविटीज ऑफ एवरी ऑफिशियल इन द यूनिवर्सिटी वी आर कीपिंग ए वॉच ऑन टू डे टू डे एक्टिविटीज वट एवर इज है नॉट नेसरली टू गिव ऑलवेज इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑन द पेपर्स but we always keep informing our honorable vice chancellor and our vice registrar so this year we have thought that let's invite our officers and inform them that there is a need to have the vigilance vigilance of any kind vigilance of every type any nature presiding over the function vice chancellor professor khurshid ikbal indrabi said that the role of vigilance organization is to make injustice as difficult as it can be knowing the faith knowing education getting involved into it more does not necessarily mitigate the requirement of vigilance and by natural principles also when human being is given an authority he starts believing that there is no better authority than him or there is no better thinker than him and that is what the undoing is all about and uh, least realizing that he is bound to commit mistakes he is bound to basically be lured into certain circumstances he is bound to be vortexed into situations and that is why our vigilance comes into play it's like you know you scratch my back i'll scratch yours that's how the systems work and this is precisely what vigilance is all about that you basically do not let the situations overwhelm your thinking process you do not let the situations or the incentives let you do injustice and that's what vigilance is for it is a cooperative kind of an effort that cannot be done by one individual or the other it has to be a mutualistic kind of an attitude in bringing betterment in bringing, bringing transparency in bringing uh, solace to the people we serve Assistant Professor of Social Work Department Dr Saima Farhad conducted the proceedings of the function The Department of Food Science and Technology organized a week long training program in fruit processing for aspiring entrepreneurs and students During the week long workshop participants were trained in various food products they were also acquainted with new techniques and safety methods in the food processing The participants are also familiarized with marketing techniques and trends that are evolving in the food sector. The quest team spoke to some of the participants and here is what they had to say about the workshop. It was very informative. Wo koi cheez jo hame like pata nahi thi food technology mein aisa kuch tha nahi but like nayi cheeze hame janne ko mili. We had made so many variety products. तो उनके बारे में भी हमें कुछ पता चली लाइक कभी हम घर पे कुछ बनाते हैं सो वहाँ पे कुछ प्रॉब्लम्स आती है यहाँ पे हमारे डाउट्स जो भी थे बहुत ज़्यादा क्लियर हो गए यहाँ का जो स्टाफ है उन्हें काफ़ी ज़्यादा हेल्प की हर एक चीज़ में हमारी हेल्प हुई एंड ओवरऑल जो ये प्रोग्राम था ये बहुत ही ज़्यादा इन्फॉर्मेटिव था और जो इसका रीज़न है जो हमें यहाँ पे सर्टिफाई करेंगे जिस चीज़ के लिए जो ये प्रोग्राम था वो बाहर भी वैलिड है सो दैट हमें अपॉर्चुनिटीज़ जो है हमारी एम्प्लॉयमेंट की वो भी इससे इंक्रीज़ हो सकती है एंड ओवरऑल ये बहुत ही ज़्यादा इन्फॉर्मेटिव था एंड वी आर रियली थैंकफुल टू कश्मीर यूनिवर्सिटी एंड द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फूड टेक्नोलॉजी फॉर ऑर्गेनाइजिंग सच प्रोग्राम एंड वी रियली अप्रिशिएट वट दे हैव डन पाँच डिप्लोमा मैंने किए हैं लेकिन फिर भी बेरोज़गारी है इसलिए मैं अपना यूनिट डालना चाहता हूँ हम यहाँ आए हमें यहाँ बहुत कुछ इन्फॉर्मेशन मिली लाइक हमने यहाँ जैम्स बनाई जल्दी बनाई एंड कुकीज़ बनाई केकस बनाए हम ये क्यों करते हैं कन्वर्ट इन टू अनदर फॉर्म क्योंकि जो हमारा ये क्लाइमेट कंडीशन है इन कश्मीर इट इज़ बेस्ट फॉर ग्रोइंग दीज फ्रूट्स एंड वेजिटेबल सो वो प्रिजर्व दैन इन अनदर फार्म और मैं कश्मीर यूनिवर्सिटी को शुक्रगुजार हूँ कि उन्होंने ऐसे ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम किए हैं और मैं उनको भी कहना चाहता हूँ जो बाहर वाले स्टूडेंट्स हैं बेरोज़गार हैं डिप्लोमा किए होंगे उन्होंने एम एस सी किया पी एच डी किए होंगे वो यहाँ आए वो कुछ यहाँ सीखे और यहाँ ट्रेनिंग करके करने के बाद 
وہ اپنا کچھ یونک ڈالیں گے اسسٹنٹ پروفیسر آف فوڈ سائنس اینڈ ٹیکنالوجی ڈاکٹر سجاد وانی سیڈ دیٹ دا ورک شاپ واز آرگنائزڈ وتھ این ایم ٹو ٹرین دا اپ کمنگ انٹرپرینرز ان دس پروگرام وی ٹرین دیم ان پروسیسنگ آف سیورل فروٹ بیسڈ پروڈکٹس لائک فروٹ جیمز فروٹ اسکواشز اینڈ پروسیسنگ آف ٹمیٹوز انٹو ٹمیٹو کیچپس انٹو ٹمیٹو پیوریز they also were trained in preparation of different types of pickles the participants also prepared various cereal based products like cakes pastries and cookies participants were also given a theoretical concept about food plant layout how we can efficiently design our food processing plants and the profitability uh, concept about the uh, running of a food processing plant successfully and at the end of this training we are planning to send them for an industrial visit to have an on spot exposure of the real working of uh, of a food industry head food science and technology professor farooq masoodi said that these kinds of workshops help to train youths of the valley in food processing sector which creates avenues for employment important objectives of the establishment of this department of food science and technology in this university was to create or generate a trained manpower for the food industry because it needs highly skilled and trained manpower and uh, further in order to get linked to the local food industry to know their uh, problems to know their requirements particularly in terms of the manpower what are the their requirements uh, of manpower what sort of or what type of manpower they need what sort of training that uh, manpower or those personnel should have which they require and uh, as we know that lot of emphasis is being uh, nowadays laid on uh, linkages between the industries and the institutions so in response to such requirements this department has started number of activities which includes uh, conducting industry institution interactive sessions or conducting these training programs uh, having interactions with different types of those entrepreneurs who are involved in processing of foods He said that the training program prepared the youth not only in food processing but in marketing the products as well. It's not possible to train them in each and every product. We train them in say processing of some specific products of fruits vegetables. Similarly we selected some specific uh, baked products or some selected meat products we are training uh, them in processing and preservation of those products so that they can get a first hand experience. in processing and then there are different aspects of this training program one is the production of these uh, commercially important products then there are different activities which are involved in this which includes procurement of raw material what should be the quality of that uh, raw material and then different unit operations in that production and of course we also give them some idea about the marketing of uh, these uh, products and further we give them some basic idea uh, in preparation of some project reports or uh, detailed project reports or that project feasibility analysis so that they can get some idea about uh, this uh, commercial activity the department of law organized a day long essay competition on mob violence and role of state A number of students from various colleges universities participated in it. Assistant Professor of Law Department Dr. Shaukat Ahmed Bhatt told students about the importance of this essay competition. The result of this essay competition will be declared after 3 days and it will be sent to the head of the department concerned or to the principal concerned of that particular institute. So you will come, come to know about that through your principal or through your HOD. Another important thing is that we will also upload the name of the winner on the departmental website. Associate Professor of Law Department Dr. Farid Ahmed Rafiqi told participants that law society always organizes such competitions to hone the skills of students. Law society as you know we have established it to create a sort of bridge between our faculty and the different academic and legal institutions of the valley so as to create an atmosphere of discussion dissemination so that 
everybody gets benefit out of the rich faculty that we have. So accordingly, we thought it as our duty that we should in fact try to hold such type of discussions, symposia, seminars, and debates and the competitions so that by and large the legal community here, the legal fraternity here feels as one is conjointly making a legal effort to better the conditions of legal system in India because you are our budding lawyers, you are our future. Accordingly, we expect a lot from the people who are present today. Now some important notifications. Applications are invited for the grant of financial assistance to the specially able students, orphans, candidates belonging to AIY, BPL category, and abandoned and broken families. The University of Kashmir has opened daycare center for the children of employees in the age group of six months to two years. Initially, the number of seats available are only 10, but gradually it will be increased. The University of Kashmir is organizing 7th Intra-University Youth Festival Sonzil 2017 in the campus from 25th to 30th November. The winners of Sonzil 2017 will represent the University of Kashmir in the Intra-University North India Youth Festival to be held at Maharishi Markandeshwar University from January 12th to 16th, 2018. To know more about these, log on to kashmiruniversity.ac.in. With this, we come to the end of today's program. In case you have missed some part of the program, you can log on to emmrckashmir.com where you can watch the whole episode. Do send us your suggestions at our email address quest at emmrckashmir.com. Romila Thapa says, With limited evidence, the imagination is free to conjure up a romantic past. With these words, I take your leave. See you next week. Goodbye.